The Beyond Good and Evil 2 development team is ready for another check-in. This time highlighting their progress on player movement and showing new gameplay of both on foot and spaceship piloting action. The player is a, is a pirate, so we have two kinds of very important gameplay, the ship itself and the character itself when he's moving on his foot, on his feet. And uh, the fact that he can uh, use his staff, a bit like uh, the first BG. Yeah? So we are working on all the mechanics of the staff. We are working on all the mechanics, uh, locomotion, uh, how, how the character is moving. We have the jetpack, so a good way to, to move in, uh, in 3D. Actually, you can also board the ship. So you are inside the enemy mother ship trying to, to fight your way uh, through the different rooms. And you have your jetpack so you can jump and escape and maybe come back to PH after this. It's up to you actually. Another nice thing with pirates is that they are very mysterious in Beyond Good and Evil 1. They are inside caves. They are not like, uh, you, were, you were not able to see them in the world. So they was very mysterious. And it is part of things we will explain or discover is what happened to the pirates. Being evasive is one of the things pirates do best, but the team knows that when you're playing with friends, you won't want to lose track of them so easily. In Beyond Good and Evil 2, we have huge space spaces, so we have a big speed, and it's really hard in multiplayer to follow each other at those speed. So you really quickly you will lose your friends, and that's why you have the armada, because in the armada, you can lock behind your friend. The design of the game is, is, is pretty advanced now. We, we, are, we know where we, we are going, so we are in this phase of prototyping a lot of uh, things today. So it's cool, because uh, sometimes we, we see some very uh, fun, uh, fun stuff uh, coming. So yeah. <laughs> to stay up to date on Beyond Good and Evil 2 and talk with the development team about what you'd like to see in the game, go to bgegame.com to sign up for the Space Monkey program. Then, subscribe to this YouTube channel to be sure to catch the latest videos. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Schrager, Narrative Director. And I'm Guillaume Brunier, senior producer. We are so happy to be back this year to share our progress on our space opera, Beyond Good and Evil 2, a game full of wonder, emotion, danger, and high-stakes drama. Last year, you all saw the enigmatic green-eyed Captain Dakini leading the legendary crew of the Gata on a quest to discover the location and the mystery behind a deep space artifact known as Moksha. But Dakini has since gone missing. Shani is now captain of the Gada, and she's leading her crew into the deep, unexplored space beyond System 3, when they come face to face with their nemesis. Fans will have recognized a ferocious young Jade. <laughs> and Paige is back as the incorrigible chief cook of the Gada. We've got two other officers, Uma, the holistic chief medic, and Callum, our chief engineer. And all of these legendary characters will be playing a major role in our prequel. Today, we are proud to represent our growing production team in Montpellier, Barcelona, Bordeaux, and Sofia. Thanks, everyone, for making it happen. Thank you. Thank you for them. Thank you. Thank you for them. In, B in, B in BGE2, you are a space pirate captain in a distant galaxy near the end of the 24th century. Yep. At this year's E3, we will be showcasing a new behind closed doors demo offering a first <laughs> look at our major location, the sacred city of Ganesha. Now, Let's take a look at our first pre-alpha gameplay footage. Ganesha is a metropolis filled with sacred temples, beautiful gardens, and bustling shops. But it's also a darker underworld, rife with dirty bars and dangerous back alleys. Our game is an action-adventure RPG that you can play alone or with your friends in co-op. 
from the intimate interior of a hidden temple to the very edge of the galaxy, fly on the ground and in space at massively different scales. And all of this seamlessly. <laughs> what you will be seeing at E3 this year is only a very small part of a much larger open universe we are creating. A universe we are also building with our fans. Yeah, let's go. With Beyond Good and Evil 2, we want our community to participate in a way that's never been done before through the Space Monkey program. We want our fans and people all over the world to really be a part of creating the game. So today, we are issuing an open invitation for people all over the world to contribute their ideas, music, artworks, and create original content that players will experience as they explore the world of Beyond Good and Evil 2. And there is literally a universe of ways for artists to express themselves, from giant frescoes to murals, street art, music, radio content, and much more. To do this, we have partnered with a company at the forefront of community collaboration, Hit Record. And here to tell us more is their founder, Joseph Gordon Levitt. <laughs> thank you. I love this theater. So thanks, thanks to you guys. Thanks, Guillaume. And, and thanks, Gabrielle. It's really good to be here. Um, I'm super excited to do this. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Hit Record is this thing that I've been making for a long, long time. It's really dear to me. And uh, it's a place where people all over the world work together on short films or music or art, all kinds of projects. This is the first time we're making stuff that's going to go into a video game. Um, so it's a little bit different than other like creative platforms um, that you can find on the internet because the point of Hit Record, it isn't just to post and promote stuff that you've made on your own. The point is to collaborate. So like when we're making music for Beyond Good and Evil 2, it's not just going to be a thing like a contest where people submit songs and then we pick one or two of them and we put them in the game. We're going to be really making the songs together. And the same goes for the visual assets that we'll be creating. So, whether you're a writer, uh, a musician, an illustrator, if you're a pro-level artist, or if you're just someone who really cares about Beyond Good and Evil and that world and you love it and you want to be a part of it, there's going to be ways for you to contribute. Um, our first creative challenges are live. As of like now, someone's at my office pushing the button, like very nervous. <laughs> you guys are doing great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so come to our site, check out the Beyond Good and Evil 2 page at hitrecord.org. That's it. Go do that shit. Thanks. <laughs> Hit Record's approach to community co collaboration is inspiring, and we're incredibly happy to be working with Joseph and his team. And we really can't wait to see what the community creates. So let's do it. Me too. We will be showcasing some of this content at our very first dedicated community event, the BG Fest, which will take place in Montpellier this fall. Thanks, everyone. Have a great E3. Thank you. your miraculous space chili. Any thoughts? Well, I have no idea what you mean. Our food is healthy. Mm, invigorating. Captain to crew, dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. El space chili strikes again. Copy that, Captain. 
Hey, Paige, bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. Uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredient to good cooking is love. I don't deal with domesticated. Hey, the fuck? I ain't got no master, but I do have your little toy. Show me the idol. Show me the redeemer. Here you go, mate. Oh, hey, Jim. Yo, 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 hand it over. I got a hot date who don't do late. <laughs> Monkey's got a date. Ah. What? 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 That's Swiss fucking chocolate, Pete. Bon appetito. Fucking cop in this fucking city <laughs> after that fucking bastard! <laughs> Damn! Night to night, night to night! 
bloody time. Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Moksha. Just as Yama described it. True freedom lies beyond. <laughs> 